Oh, it's a 600 LT. This is so cool with exhaust just flies out. This will shoot flames like way out here, like five foot flames. Can I drive this? This guy wanted to drive the car. Look at his face. Dude, dude. We need to set up a day where I drive your car, you drive my <laughs> What's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard, coming to you with another banger. You might be wondering why I look a little ragged right now. My hair is all disheveled. It's because I'm heading out to my barber. I'm gonna get my hair cut, my beard trimmed up for the weekend. Let's see how they do, catch you guys there. That's just second gear. We're doing like 70 miles an hour. That was one of the complaints with this car, that the gearing ratio was kinda long, but I like it. It picks up so fast. Barber shop. My boy Jeffrey hooked me up for the weekend. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. Gonna hang out with Bailey a little bit, try and make some more content for you guys. I'm gonna be making a video about the haters. It's the next day. I'm about to head out to pick up Anthony so he can go pick up his car. He's gonna give him the ride. I know it's a little bit all over the place. After this week, I will be making another vlog that will be fire. Prepare yourselves for that one. I really do appreciate the support and thank you for watching. Whoop, whoop. What's up, man? Let's go get the girl. Let's go for a little drive here. Don't talk talk to shit on the camera. I just think that if you pay for a job, I can do the job properly, you know? I'm saving this footage. I'm not posting this now. Shit goes to shit that I, I have, you know? I'm not going down alone. I'm gonna fucking take them down with me. I'm sorry. Yo guys, check out the Mustang GT350 and Lizard Green. How long did it take them to paint the car, bro? Eh, about three months. We're at Precision Auto Body. They're the guys who painted this guy's car. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this color. Yeah, I like it, dude. It's clean. The driver mod. Go check this guy out on YouTube. He makes. What do you think about my driving, bro? I don't know if it was you or the car, but that that clunking that cannot be normal. No, that's always like that, dude. Even when the tech drove the car. Can I drive this? This guy wanted to drive the car. Look at his face. Get a dark tantrum over here. <laughs> dude, dude. We need to set up a day where I drive your car, you drive mine. You know what happens if you crash that car? You know what happens if you crash that car? I could buy one of those though. <laughs> not that one. Not that one. I'm fucked if you crash that, dude. <laughs> Maybe one day, one. Maybe one day. Not today. Yeah. Look at the tires, dude. Oh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, the okay, tires. okay. Hey. That, no, no, that doesn't count. That, those tires are good. The back tires, okay, dude. Okay. Let's look at these tires. Let's look at these tires. Oh, I can still feel a ridge right there. That That's plenty of life for a cup, too. Guys, like, this guy is clearly <laughs> blind. I'm out here on slicks, and he's like, slicks. You want to see slicks? But those are the front tires, bro. What okay. about your back tires? But look at that. There's no ridge right there. Yeah. It's just straight fucking meat. Basically a slick all the way across. Nice. That's dangerous, dude. Especially with this weather and rain and all that shit. Blah, it's blah. Black. Blah, blah. I like this venting, you guys. It's too aluminum. This guy actually can see his engine and shit. What mods do you have done? Or the throttle body, the lightweight battery, two E85, I mean, I've got a flex E85, 93 tune, the aero, some spring sway bars off the R, the wheels, forge line wheels is forge line. One piece carbon drive shaft. That forge line sponsors you? No. No? I got a camera plate for cornering. Definitely looks aggressive, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a Mustang guy. I'm just going by visuals here, you know? Oh yeah, it definitely gets attention. Yeah, I just say stuff, bro. I cut, half the shit I say I cut out anyway. Cool, man. Well, I'm gonna head back to my house. Good drive, dude. This is just part of the video, so we're probably gonna come home, make some more content. Gonna head out to the bank, I gotta run a few errands today. The last few days have been pretty boring. I know I owe you guys a video. It's gonna be a combination of a few days together just because there hasn't been anything much going on. Catch you guys later. What's up, Car Kings? Day number four. I am heading to Porsche, getting my tires finally. It's been about two weeks since the last video where I said I was gonna go get the new tires. It's like six o'clock. Luckily, it's not super cold or raining. I'm hoping that on the way there, I see some crazy stuff on the road. Hopefully, they have some new cars there as well to take a good look at. This weekend is Rolex 24. I don't know if I'm gonna go. I'm waiting to hear from the guys to see if they're gonna be going to that. There should be some other car shows. I might go to Winter Garden Cars and Coffee because I've never been there before. You guys stay tuned for the weekend. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. I'm to figure something out for you guys. Made it safe and sound to the Porsche dealership. Oh, they have a they have a McLaren 570S out here. This is actually sick. The last time I came here, they always have mid-ass like exotics out here, but today they actually do have a 500. Oh shit, it's a 600 LT. 600 LT. I wonder how much they're asking for this. 20,000 miles, and they just got it sitting outside. Beautiful orange color. This is one of my favorite supercars. The only thing is they don't have the roof scoop on it. If they had the roof scoop, then it would be a perfect car. This is so 
cool when exhaust just flies out. This shit will shoot flames like way out here, like five foot flames, like a fire tune on it. I don't like the static wing that much. Stock wheels, carbon fiber on the mirrors. It would have been cool if you had the carbon fiber package on this, carbon fiber on the roof and whatnot, but it's still pretty sick. I wasn't really expecting to see that today. I cannot remember what we had last time. I have to go back and check the other video. This is a Vantage. I think this is a Vantage. I think this is a different car from the one that was here last time. I'll have to check the video. I just checked the video. This is actually a different Aston Martin. I told you guys, every time I come here, they have a different Aston Martin. It seems like a lot of people trade out from Aston Martins to Porsche. In fact, I think the one they had last time was the one that's over there. I personally like the styling on this. I think this is a Vantage. However, these do not hold their pricing. When I was getting the Spider, I considered getting one of these. I went to the dealership, I looked at them. They cost about the same as the Spider new. I don't think it was worth it. If the Spider isn't considered an exotic, I don't think this should be either. And also, this just looks too subtle. They got a Turbo S inside here. Let's check that out in a second. A GTS, Taycan. I actually don't understand why they have Taycans that say Turbo, Taycans that say GTS. Because these are all just electric cars, so it doesn't really matter. They're just playing games at this semantic games at this point. The Turbo S 992 Cabriolet. The new generation of supercars are starting to catch up with these. I saw a video at CarWow. That 296 GTB really has this in the straight. They're gonna have to come up with something new. I'm waiting to see what the GT2 RS 992 is gonna look like. And this GT4 RS has been here for a while. But I gotta talk to one of these sales reps. See how, what they'll give me for my car. If any of you guys are wondering how it is when you buy a Porsche. I feel like Porsche's a pretty chill brand. I've had my car for about two years. For the most part, coming to the dealership is like this. There's usually more people. Obviously, I'm here really early. When you're gonna go order your car, usually you'll sit down with the rep and they'll go through all of the configuration settings. You can see here how it has like the different models. They usually do this on the computer to be honest. I think most of this is just decoration. Different options you can choose. Obviously there's different colors. My seatbelts are yellow and they don't have yellow up here. And boss center console, I really wanted to get that. I don't know. It wasn't an option for my car. You can see all the shifters, the different color cloths, the key fob pouches, kind of a waste of money. All of the colors you can choose. My car is racing yellow, but they have correct gray that's popular color I think you can also get any of the Audi colors if you know the color code paint the sample but it's gonna be like 15,000 extra dollars so all the leather choices and then I guess this is wood for like the Macan and the Cayenne this blue this is like a shark blue looks pretty cool like I said they're pretty chill here I mean you'll go through the options with your sales rep and they'll help you pick out what you want or you could just do it on the internet I mean I kind of did most of it on the internet and I went in there when I was done if you want to buy your merch I mean honestly they don't usually have that much of a selection here most of the stuff you can get on the internet though Hopefully when the sales reps come in, we can ask them about that McLaren. I want to know what that McLaren's going for. This is 84000 obviously to use. Oh my god, today has been a long day. I just got back from Porsche. That's North Orlando, the one that's in Maitland, if you guys are wondering which one of the North Orlando is. Got my new tires. Tires are not cheap. If anybody's wondering, because I feel like a lot of people say, oh, I can afford this car, I can afford that car. If you guys think you can afford a car, you gotta always keep in mind maintenance costs. It's a big mistake a lot of people make. They don't take into consideration maintenance costs, and it's one of the things I also did not take into consideration when I bought this car. Sure, you can afford the car payments, but maintenance might be killing you. For the back two tires, it came out to $1,750. Think about that. And I've had to change tires four times for the back and two times for the front. That's a lot of money, guys. That adds up. Biggest mistakes I've made with this car is not taking into consideration the maintenance. On that same note, because I'm an idiot, tomorrow I'm going back to Porsche North Orlando and I'm gonna be test driving the McLaren 600 LT that we saw earlier. They want $188,000 for that McLaren 600 LT, which I think is a very good price. It's a clean title car. They want to give me $109,000 for my car. I owe $55,000 on this car, so I think that's a pretty good deal. And I think if they want to give me $109 for the car, that means they must be selling it for much more, which makes me think maybe I should just sell it online myself. I could bag that profit and I'll get even more money for the car and then I'll use that money, part of it, to get the new car. I don't think I'm going to be getting that 600 LT tomorrow. I think I'm just going to test drive the car. I will fight any stupid urges I get to make a bad financial decision. Later today when the sun goes down, I'm going to try and make a video for you guys going over some of these expenses. Primarily, the cost of the tires, the clutch work I did on this car, and everything else I've done. Just kind of a summary. Right now, I feel like I'm breaking even on this car. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Go ahead and check out the catalog of videos that I have below and subscribe. This video, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to try and make the other video a separate video altogether. You guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching and let's go.